I'm your SI leader for Organic Chemistry, and today we're going to be working on the roadmap for all of our Chapter 6 alkene reactions. And um, the PDF for this roadmap, blank roadmap, is available in the link below. And the best way to get something out of this video is to work through the roadmap and fill it in as we're going along. And uh, I'm going to go pretty fast, so if you guys need to pause the video and replay certain sections, please feel free to do so and fill it in as you're going along. So the first step to do is uh, write out the structure of our starting molecule. So we're going to start out with the ending, butene. So we're going to draw a four carbon structure with a double bond at the two position, two butene. And then we're going to go through our substituents. So we have a one phenyl, and we have a two methyl. And now checking that this is E, we have first priority here, first priority here, they're opposite, so this is the E molecule, so we're fine. So this is our starting molecule. Now we're going to go through the major products for all of these reactions. So starting at the top, we're going to go through a clock, clockwise fashion all the way around. So starting out with HBr, our first step is to always do our 1, 2, 3s. So the 1, 2, 3s for HBr is going to be H and Br, and it's going to go Markov. the Br, and this is a C plus mechanism, so sin plus anti. So these are our three steps, and the product we're going to get here, so if you add the Br to the Markovnikov composition, we notice that we have rearrangements. This is a benzylic position, so the, the carbocation will rearrange to this position, and this is where the Br will add. So our final product. will be this. And you notice that we have two chiral centers. If this is the C plus mechanism, we get all of them. So this is a racemic mixture. It has equal mixtures of all the enantiomers. So that's the HBr reaction. Our next reaction is going to be H plus and H2O. These are acid catalyzed hydration conditions. So we should know one, two, threes for this, H and OH. Markovnikov addition, and also C plus mechanism, we get sin plus anti. And for this molecule, it's the same idea. The carbocation is going to form first at the tertiary position, and then it can rearrange to the benzylic position. So this is where the OH is going to add. As you notice, we form two chiral centers. So again, we're going to get a racemic mixture. And that's the acid catalyzed hydration reaction. Next reaction is going to be using alcohol, so acid catalyzed alcohol addition. And our one, two, threes for this, we're going to add H and OCH3. It's also going to be Markovnikov for the OCH3. And this is going to be a C plus mechanism. So we're going to get the sin plus the anti. Sorry, this should go here. And for this molecule, we get the product. Again, we're going to add the carbocation to the tertiary position, rearrange to the benzylic. So again, we're going to get a racemic mixture of all the chiral centers because of the C plus mechanism. And that's the acid catalyzed alcohol addition. Our next reaction is going to be oxymercuration reduction conditions. So our one, two, threes for this, we're going to add H and OH. And we're going to have Markovnikov addition again the OH, and it's going to be anti. So now for this reaction, we're going to get two possible products. So since the 
reaction is Markovnikov, the OH is going to add to the tertiary position. And then the H is going to add in the opposite direction. So for our first product, if we add the OH coming up, we have the OH popping up here, methyl going back. And now since this is going up, the H is going to come from the back, so it's going to push this methyl up. It has an H here. And then we have another H down here. So as you noticed, this is not a chiral center. So this is our only chiral center formed. And now if the OH adds from the opposite direction, we're going to have the other product. Now, if the H adds in the top, the methyl is going to get pushed back. And again, this is our only chiral center. So we get two products here, and these are enantiomers. Our next reaction is going to be the, it's called alkoxy mercuration, because we're using an alcohol. So we're going to add H and OCH3. And again, it's going to be Markovnikov. And it's also going to be anti. So the same idea here, we're going to get two possible products. So as you notice here, we're, we're just forming a methyl here. So basically what's going on is we're going to have the OCH3 add to the tertiary position, and then an H adds to here. So if we add the OCH3 up, it's going to push the methyl back. And then we add an H here, but this is in a chiral center. So, and then our, our other product is going to be when the OCH3 adds from behind. And the H adds to here, which is in chiral. Is there only chiral centers? So we're going to get, again, a receiving mixture of products. So the next reaction is the hydroboration oxidation reaction. Is this a reaction? So our 1, 2, 3s for this, we're going to have H and OH. We're going to have anti Markovnikov. We're going to have syn addition. So our products for this reaction, since we have anti Markovnikov, the OH is going to add to the less substituted carbon in a syn fashion. So if we add the OH in a syn fashion, if you add it from the top, then it would push the methyl back. We have an H. And now if the OH is added in the top, then the H has to add to the top too. So that's our first product. Now the OH and H can also add from behind. So the OH adds from behind. It would push the methyl up. And uh, the H adds from behind as well and pushes the methyl up. Because those are your two products for hydration oxidation. So the next reaction is going to be bromination. So the one, two, threes for this, we're going to add Br and Br. And it's going to be who cares because we're adding the same thing to both carbons. And our third one is going to be anti. So the products for this reaction, we're going to have to add the Br's anti to each other across this double bond. So if we choose... To add the Br up, now we'll push the methyl back. And now, if you add the Br up here, you have to add the Br down in the other direction. And the Br down will push the methyl up. 
That's your first product. Now you can also add the BRs the opposite way. So the BR from behind will push the methyl up. And then you'd have to add this BR up. And that's your products in the bromination reaction. Next reaction is going to be in aqueous conditions. If you notice, the aqueous means that water is present. So this is going to be halohydrin formation. We're going to add BR and OH. It's going to be Markovnikov for the OH, and it's going to be anti. So our products of this reaction, we're going to add the OH to the Markovnikov position. It's going to be this position. So if you add the OH up, that would push the methyl back. Now I mean that we have to add the BR down. And then our second product will be the opposite. OH down. And then the BR up. And those are your two products from halohydrin formation. So our next reaction is going to be with alcohol. So you have it with alcohol. This would be halo ether formation. Adding BR and OCH3 here to be Markovnikov for the OCH3, and it's going to also going to be anti. So again, we're going to get two products from this reaction and add the OCH3 to the Markovnikov position. So we add the OCH3 up, and we push the methyl back. And now, since the OCH3 is added up, the BR has to add down. And that's your first product. Your second product will be when the OCH3 adds down. That would push the methyl up. And now your BR has to add up and push the methyl back. These are two products from ether formation. Now, our next reaction is going to be using um, diol formation. So this adds OH and OH. And it's going to be, who cares, because we're adding the same thing. And it's going to be syn addition. So our products for this reaction, we're going to add OH and OH to the same position. Or sorry, on the same side. So our first product will be when you have an OH. And then if the OH was added up here, it has to be added up on the other carbon. That's your first product. And then your second product will be the opposite. You're going to add both of the OHs down. And that's your diol formation. So our next reaction is going to be ozonolysis. So our one, two, threes for this. First, we're going to snap. And we're going to separate. And then we're going to insert. So our products here, we're just going to snap. Snap the double bond, separate, and then insert oxygens. So for this one, when you snap it, separate, insert oxygen. And then our second product will be snap, separate, insert oxygen. Those are your two products. So our last reaction is going to be hydrogenation. So for hydrogenation, I'm going to add H and H. It's going to be... Who cares because we're adding the same thing? And it's going to be syn addition. 
So products of this reaction, it's going to take away the double bond. And we're going to form a chiral center. This is going to be a racemic mixture. And those are the 12 reactions. Thanks for watching. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.